Hey everyone, hope you're staying safe and well. Happy Friday guys, the weekend's finally here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening team. Thank you so much for, as always, tuning in and checking out our lives, our real-time live streams, real advice from real artists, guys. We've got a great show coming up with a good friend of mine all the way from Maine. Um, Chris Layton is joining us today to share his thoughts about backstage, his experiences, stepping back into the uh, the drumming space and, and becoming a drummer again after a little break. And we're going to have a great chat. So just whilst you join us, guys, I just want to take a moment to say a huge thank you for showing up for yourself, for showing up for me, for showing up for the team and the community as well and it's what it's all about team i'm just going to shout some of you out we've got jermaine in the building good to see jermaine join us backstage we've got zach joining us zach get on it get on backstage we've got aaron we've got zet we've got Jojito ariam good to see you my friend as in um guys let us know quinton's in the building as well good stuff team thank you so much we've got salt on drum great brand there christian yeah guys you're coming out in waves it's great to see you all thank you so much for doing what you do best and that's just showing up for me and the team you know your support is just greatly appreciated ricky's in the building hello aaron good to see you my friend ryan is in the building ricky as well We've got Jose joining us as well, guys. This is what it's about, team. Team, drop in the comments. Let me and the team know here at Collision where you're joining us from, where you're tuning in from. We've got Zach getting on it and starting in January. Great stuff, my friend. Be sure to sign up now as well. Doors close in two days' time. We've got Derek from, uh, we've got, yep, yeah, Ricky Derek from Indonesia in the building tonight. Great stuff. Thank you, Annabelle, for joining us. Great to see Annabelle joining us as an annual backstage member, pass holder there, team. And guys, if you want your backstage pass, we're sending Annabelle some custom black, uh, backstage sticks, black backstage sticks here, team. We've got that coming up. We've just announced as well, team, our planners are in the building as well. So we've just got our impact, our sound planners. And if you want to impact your sound, if you want to start, you know, setting goals, if you guys want to start, you know, putting down what you need to be doing, logging it, data points, being able to track track and trace your success pick one of these up this is what it's about it's a 90 day planner and um, you can you can sign up for one of these drumplanners.com um, and the team there is going to help set you guys up and support you as well we've got david from brazil joining us today we've got an account has just joined serenity lost good to see you chris is in the building as well we've got a great great guest joining us now we've got a great friend of mine a great friend of the brand always supporting the team always showing up for himself chris Layton's about to join us team and guys if you have any questions for chris if you want an honest opinion if you want some advice from a real work hard working drummer you know he's in there he's working he's doing his thing to chris we're going to invite him in now and we're going to have a great chat we've got a lot to cover tonight so guys again if you want to drop your questions in the chat for chris he's here now so thank you sir thank you so much for joining us how are you good carlton how are you doing this evening I am well. Thank you again, Chris. I really appreciate this. I've been really looking forward to our call because I know it was sort of a few few weeks away and then I saw you obviously <sighs> book that one in and then I was like, oh, yeah, I wonder if we'll keep to it because I know how busy you are. And I, and I yeah. was nervous as well, so I'm so pleased we've been able to get on each other's time. So, yeah, huge thanks for joining me tonight. And, Chris, you know, in terms of obviously where you're at at the moment, we, we go way back, but I mean, just in terms of a little bit about you, for those community members joining us today, it might be for the first time, and if so, hello from me and Chris, um, and some of our old <laughs> friends joining us as well, may, may not know a little bit about you yet, but just in terms of your name, location, Chris, and how you started your drumming journey, because I know it's a, a little different to maybe the, the usual path for us artists. Yeah, well, absolutely. I, I really appreciate it, Carlton. So hello, everybody out there. I'm Chris Layton. Um, so I am hailing from Portland, Maine, which is about an hour north of Boston in the U.S. Um, I started playing around 84, 85. I started taking lessons when I was seven, uh, and I was greatly inspired by actually my father, who was a drummer. Uh, he used to have band rehearsal at our house, and I would just sit there enamored and watch the band play, but obviously watching Dad you know, I had to follow in his footsteps. So, um, you know, took private lessons for quite a while from an excellent instructor named Phil Verros, famous in the area. Um, played with the concert band in school, marching band, uh, orchestra, the jazz band. Um, so got a great opportunity to play with larger ensembles. And then, of course, once, um, you know, once you get a little bit older and you're mobile, you got your vehicle, you're going, started playing with wheels. rock and roll. That's it. As soon as you got your wheels, man, you're 
you're, you're ready to blast off. So I um, started playing with uh, rock bands. I was greatly influenced by, um, you know, great drummers. Alex Van Halen was my first, you know, big idol, um, Cor Sponzo, and, you know, just the list goes on and on of amazing drummers. But, um, you know, I played in blues bands, jazz bands, rock bands, um, metal bands, country bands. It's uh, It's been quite a journey. I just love to play music, and that's the, the biggest thing to know about me is I am, I'm a player. Yeah. Um, I'm not like the most amazing drummer ever, but I just love to play with other musicians and create. It's, you know, the art of it. And, um, you know, obviously with, you know, my journey through yeah. growing up, starting a family, career, business, so on and so forth, I got way away from playing the drums um, and have recently come back within the last few years and just yeah. rekindled that love. And um, it's a very different world yep. than it was uh, not just this last, you know, eight, ten months no. or whatever, but the last few years in general has been a big eye opener um, as to how the music scene is in general, um, but especially the larger platform. I mean, we have an entire we have a global platform. Every single individual who has the Internet can join in this you know, it, amazing platform. That's just, yeah. it's infinite. So, um, that's what, to that's what totally brought me to backstage, uh, collision drumsticks in general was, um, you know, starting off on that path to, uh, to connection. That's amazing, Chris. And you know, you never give yourself enough credit, sir. And I'm going to be here singing your praises because Chris, <laughs> you are such a community member. You are in it, you are implementing, but also like you say, it's not always about the, you know, who who's the best player. It's about playing what you love. And, and like you say, you're in it. You're, you're, a, you're, a, you're such a talented musician in your own right. So, you know, to be able to be in, in, in as many projects as you are currently, to have been in as many genres as you have been in the past and now, it's just unbelievable. And Chris, really, uh, before I get into the sort of meat and potatoes of today's topic, you know, but how important was having an influence like your father in your life, having, you know, th you know, being brought up around, you know, bands and, and, and being brought up around different genres and then getting immersed into that. How important was that for you and your development personally compared to if you had just sort of had to find your own way? Oh my gosh. It was so huge. Um, you know, completely pivotal in my, in my young life, um, essentially because, you know, as musicians, whether you're just beginning or um, you've been on this journey for, for decades and decades, I mean, we all know there are so many different paths that you can take. There's so yeah. many roads. There's, there's, so much, there's so much choice. So to have influences um, like my father, like my drum instructor, my band conductors that I had through the years, um, and then being able to play, like you said, in all these different genres with all these different musicians and their backgrounds i mean it just really opened up my eyes and uh and really my heart because you know yeah. musicians we play we play from right here um yeah. you know it just it was it was an amazing uh way to start a musical journey because i i do i have lots of friends who who maybe didn't start until later um yeah I, I, and you know it, it's just it's it's fun to watch the different developments that can take place by, you know, depending on where you are and, and yeah. what path you choose to take. And with that said, you know, what were the motivations behind you coming back into the scene? Because you've already acknowledged you'd stepped out of the scene for, for a little while, I said, at least whilst life was happening, you know, it, outside of this, you, you know, you, you won't hate me to say that you, you're, you're full-time self, self-employed individual, you know, you're running your own show and, and leading, by example, and stepping out into that market space, which is challenging enough and, you know, really enough time away from friends and family as it is, then to throw in bands and projects. So maybe twofold question. Firstly, how, how important has time management been in your life? And secondly, the, the motivations for you to come back into this space, because that took a lot for you to come back, you know? Oh, it certainly did. And, um, you know, time management uh, <laughs> was a huge, huge um, undertaking. I mean, obviously, 
my motivation for coming back to music was my love for music. Now, I never, never stopped loving music. I just stopped dedicating the time or setting aside enough time to continue to, to perform or, or be at a professional level or, or strive to be at a professional level, I should say. Um, you know, so like you said, taking the time to sit down, organize my thoughts, being that, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything halfway. No. I am a do it all the way. You and me lying and about, I, in a big way. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, and I'm also an, uh, like internal optimist, you know, like, my cup is always half. I mean, there could be one little drop left in my cup, and I'm like, look, there's still a whole drop left. Yeah. So, you know, like just curving that enthusiasm yeah. and that energy into setting aside the time, um, you know, actually hooking up with um, some local musicians who are friends um, is what really dragged me back into it. I got an opportunity to join a band, learn a music, help them help them record a demo because essentially they were looking for their drummer yeah. and they just needed someone to lay down these tracks so they could have something to go on. And I had such an amazing time. It was so much yeah. fun. We ended up playing out a couple shows. This was a couple years ago. And then the rest is history. Yeah, now yeah. it's like, okay, I'm in, I'm, I'm full steam ahead. Now. And I love it because, you know, for me to hear that, you know, a musician in, in, in the space, you know, coming back in for me and the team it's just like yes it's just great something we want to celebrate you for chris because it's inspiring it's infectious and really maybe one of our first action items for today's conversation is really surround yourself with you know musicians individuals within your local community have a finger on the post in your local area because that is critical and and yes you know remembering what we're here for and that affinity and that shared commonality but the networking, the opportunities, the community is, is truly what we all resonate from and get that energy exchange from for sure. And I mean, Chris, can you just sort of explain as well a little bit more about just sort of setting the scene as to prior to joining us backstage where you were at in terms of social, in terms of music, in terms of obviously access to sort of networks, things like that. Okay. So um, I wasn't completely oblivious to uh, social media in general. I had run a YouTube channel that was more um, outdoor adventure orientated for several years. Um, met great people in that community. Still, you know, I'm very close to, to many of them. Um, I did have an Instagram account. but So these were methods for me to, um, to share my adventures with people, to communicate with them. I had never really looked at it um, in in the light of it being a um, you know such a, a an essential tool in connection and growing um, yes. in in a field like in music or you know in general just being a part of that community. So you know I mean I was so I'm in a band called Twin Grizzly. Um, we had just recorded an EP. Yeah, it's it's a heavier it's heavier music. It's not um, it's not you know total metal, but you know classic heavy metal, hardcore stuff. Um, very fun to play, high energy, hard hitting, which is great. <laughs> um, but so we had recorded an EP, played some amazing shows. Like this is all right. So I'm now I'm playing like the best shows I've ever played. Had the most fun. We're getting the most traction. This is the end of January, February. We play another show. Beginning of March, we play a, um, a benefit for a close friend of ours who's a pillar in the music community. And then, bam, yep. we all know what happened the second week of March. Yeah. 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 Poof. Done. Complete car crash. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, it took the wind out of, uh, uh, out of well, the entire plan. We don't have to go too far down that road. Everybody's been living it now. But yeah. in regards to where I found myself, with all this um, energy, momentum, um, and this passion, not really having any type of, uh, of outlet for it. And I realized, okay, no more going to shows, no more um, you know, meeting up with other musicians locally, no more you know, in general, like, okay, it's time. I, I need to find something. I need to figure out a way that I can continue with this energy that I have. Um, in steps Carlton and Collision Drumsticks. In steps you, know, you uh, my friend. You're oh, well, uh, <laughs> you made it I was happen. just going to, 
Well, you know, the fact that, um, you know, we connected, I look at it as it was kind of a fate thing because I really was looking for a great answer to, or a, an answer to a difficult pr problem, you know, yeah. that everyone's kind of facing. So to, to run across a dynamic individual like yourself who Thank is you. the head of an amazing company, which is just growing to community, uh, like I could talk about that for the next half hour, but you know, let's just say you stepped in right at the right time. And I said, this is it. You know, it resonated with me community. Um, you know, the ability to learn and grow and with other musicians, uh, specifically drummers, uh, was like, it was a godsend, you know? So that, uh, that was the summer. And yeah. uh, b basically, since midsummer, ever you know, to this very day, I mean, I'm, I am living and breathing it, my friend. Look at that! And you know, I'm using, Chris, I'm think, using. Go on, no, go on. What are you using? <laughs> well, I was just gonna say, I, I'm using your, the momentum that you've created to to help propel myself in the direction that I want to be going, and you know, grab a hold of the, your coattails, whatever you want to call it. Boom! I'm. I am along for the ride, and I love it. Thank you, sir. No, you the man. And, you know, you, you, Chris, you've got it in you. You've always had it in you, and this is it. You know, we want to just champion yourself. We want to champion, you know, you guys out there watching. You know, you might be sat there now thinking, you know, how do I get involved? Speak to Chris. You know, Chris is more than happy to have a conversation about, you know, what backstage is. We can get into a little bit more here, guys. But, you know, after the show, you know, please reach out. You know, we've pinned... Um, Chris's uh, Instagram handle in the comments, you know, go give him a follow, check out the amazing work he's doing. Um, besides his, his phenomenal work in music, he's a phenomenal wood crafter, craftsman. I mean, look at the studio he's built behind him. It's just unbelievable. That is his handiwork. I mean, that is brilliant. <laughs> and it was just great to see sort of everything line up for you. So it, it was really great. It was really great timing, to be honest, wasn't it, Chris? Just with the way it sort of segued from new opportunities into backstage now into where you're at, which, I mean, can you just share with everyone where you're at? Cause it's evolving week by week, isn't it? Oh, it really is. It's, it's almost, it's, uh, it's mind boggling to, to see like the track, the path, yeah. like, pew, just and kept... for me, it's, it is. Uh, and it's just, it's just amazing. It's, I'm super proud of the work you're putting in as with all of the backstage arts, but it's great to see not only, you know, from a professional capacity, but a great friend doing well as well. Oh, I, I agree with you completely, and I'm glad you brought that up because a uh, friend is, is such a key piece of this puzzle. Um, our, we call, uh, you know, in backstage, we're calling it our, uh, the, our collision family now, and, you know, a bunch of us have created um, just a wonderful bond with one another as, you know, going through these experiences, helping each other out. Um, you know, I, when I started so basically I'm looking at this backstage opportunity and I, and I say, you know, this sounds exactly what I was looking for. The answers that I need could be right on the other side of this door. I had, I really didn't know what to expect because again, this is, this is all new to me. So, but after I joined and I, and I met the people and I, and we have had so many, um, you know, you know, the small group, environment yeah. is just it's intimate it's it, it's so beneficial to you um not only as a musician but as a uh, as a person yeah. to be able to share you know on that level with people so really um you know i went from not knowing what i wanted to do or how to do it to like having this wealth of information and this incredible platform and this uh, this the amount of resources yeah. are incredible but also you, yeah. being able to talk to people who are joining and this, you know, getting their take in, in our small group, um, you know, meetings, like question and answers, like goal setting sessions, yeah. especially the expert sessions. Yeah, to step it's, up, isn't it? And we're learning together from phenomenal artists because this is it. You know, we, we will show and guide and, and do what we can within the community and within Collision, but we don't know everything. And we make it clear to you guys, don't we? You know, we bring in our, our networks, our, our friends, our community members to come and show you guys sort of that, that's their expertise. That's where they're 
you know, really taken off, whether it's streaming, whether it's marketing, whether it's influencing, whether it's um, mindset. We, we just had Crystal for mindset. That I really enjoyed that, Chris. How did you find that session? I absolutely loved it. And it's, again, this is something that I hadn't, that this, that's the realm that I had not really ventured into at all. And now it's like my eyes are just open to this, um, you know, this opportunity is what I'm going to call it to, uh, to really dive in and dig deep and, you know, maybe be able to fill in some blanks, but also it's just going to help be more productive. And yeah. again, back to time management, the more productive that I can be with the, uh, with the amount of time that I can devote. I mean, it's just, it's, it's gold. So yeah, I mean, I loved it. Crystal was is so spot on. She is, she's an amazing person. C certainly, certainly, you know, and it's just, it's just great to see yourself, you know, you implement, you take what we're talking about and, you know, <laughs> the same day, it's like, it's implemented into, and it's just nice to see how much is being taken from backstage and just drawn in, you know, we're, we're working within that week to week setting. So we're always circling back, aren't we? We're all always coming back to the table. And like you say, within that Zoom room environment, that close connection environment, how, and it's not just one way. We have dialogue like this, don't we? We sit there and we talk and people have got life going on. Oftentimes you're in the car going from A to B. Oh, it's yeah. Like, life's happening, isn't it? And it's fair to say. It you sure know, is. It, life is happening, guys, at the minute. And for those artists out there, Chris, that might might be on that you know, time commitment sort of exchange and they're thinking, you know, do I have enough time to commit to something like this, like backstage, like a program like this? What do you have to say to them? Because... You know, if anyone can't commit time, it would be someone as busy as you. Oh, absolutely. And, um, you know, I would say 100% worth it all day, every day, no doubt about it. Um, the whole platform, um, you guys have done a great job for tailoring it to be on your mobile device, which, yeah. let's face it, it's just the way of the world. It is the way. So you have backstage with you everywhere you go, just like you have Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, you know, I mean, these platforms are right in your hand. Now you have, you know, the forum to be able to um, figure out in which direction you want to start interacting with all these different social media platforms. So, you know, I mean, it's just, to me, I look at it as if I were to take private drum lessons every week, I'm going to dedicate this amount of time to studying the material and setting aside the, you know, the, the money that it's going to take to pay this yeah. professional to, uh, to instruct me. And, you know, and, and then I'm going to do the lesson while backstage is with me whenever I want to be, wherever I want to be. And it's basically the cost of one private lesson a month. So it's to me, it was just like it was a no brainer, you boom, know. Boom, it boom. Just... Get on it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And it, this is it, though. Where you know, from from our end, it's we're trying to create solutions for you guys as drummers and myself included as an artist. Because, uh, you know, when it when it came to the sort of phasing of and staging of it and setting it up, it was what do we want? You know, what do we want to get out of this? We want to have a community space where people who are actively looking to go, you know, into a larger full time capacity, whether they're picking it up here and being able to try and have that kind of DIY self-starter mindset, being able to, like you say, come and go as you're able to, not just, you know, because if you're committing to an hour lesson, e even, I think it's fair to say, even if you were to commit one hour a week to a lesson with an educator, it might be more difficult than what we have because with this, it's grab and go. You can pick it up and put it down, like you say, whenever you need to. Whereas no doubt. you are committing time to a, a professional, you have to be there. With, with the lives, you know, you oftentimes we're, we're catching up on the replay and, you know, there's it's it's really built for that, you know, individual who is either extremely busy or who has, you know, some time oh, yeah. on their hands as well. Well, and sure. that's the and, thing. Like, yeah. there's no there's no excuse to um, to not be able to, to, to look over the curriculum, to, to study, to focus, to invest the time in yourself because it is literally live 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, totally, totally. And for you, Chris, personally, just because I haven't had a chance to ask you directly, but out of everything backstage and now, because we had a phone call right at the start when you signed up and we did a live and it's been great sort of, you know, this quarter, just circle back and have this. So thank you again for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. What has been your favorite aspect of backstage thus far, personally? 
Wow. Um, it's hard to pinpoint it down to just one. I mean, the, the real quick and easy answer would be just the people. I mean, and I'm seeing a bunch of backstage members know, right here in the I chat right now. <laughs> Don't mind me, but I've got to take a moment to acknowledge some of these. Do it, do it. Drummanizer in the building, Max is here. We've got Siobhan, backstage member there. Great to see Mask Guy. Drums join us as well. There's a comment. Look at that, Chris. Join backstage. Give you the same warm, fuzzy feeling as Taco Tuesdays. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Annabelle's in the building. Monique supporting us as well. Tony's here as well. Matt, good to see you guys. Nico, Demetrius. We've got Nathan Buckland joining us backstage as well. Annabelle, they're only seven years old and backstage community has given me so much love and helped me. Uh, so do it. Join before the door shut. Brilliant stuff. We've got there Chris, the man, the myth, the legend from Drummer Siobhan. Absolutely. And great to see you <laughs> join the Siobhan. Awesome stuff. We've got Monique with the applause. And Monique's one of our coaches team. We've got Mario on the fence. We're backstage. Mario, you've heard it here. Join us, mate, because it's going to help you and get you ahead as a drummer and musician. That's what it's all about. Doing things for you and your music that others can't or won't. You know, this is where opportunities come. Connect with Chris. Connect with these phenomenal artists I'm acknowledging now. Get involved with it. And, you know, Chris, in terms of obviously big music goes for you because, you know, this is something we're always coming back to at the start of each and every month. Sure. We know goals, for, you know, goals are really important, aren't they? And, and maybe you can just Absolutely. explain why, you know, the importance to you and in your experience of, of setting goals and obviously as well, if you wouldn't mind, just sharing some of your big goals that you have in mind for 21. Oh, absolutely. So, um, and just to, to, to tail back yeah. into that last question before we did all please, those shout outs to all the awesome people, um, you know, the, the, the individual thing that I like the most about Backstage itself is the way that your framework is set up. The curriculum is very easy to understand, and it is, it's, it's all kind of goal-oriented. It's just, it makes sense. Um, one thing leads to the next to the next, and it was very easy to follow. So, you know, as far as, um, you know, your last question, you know, it's been extremely easy to track progress and to, to set goals for myself. So, you know, heading into 2021, um, you know, I've, I've accomplished just about all of the goals that I had started setting since joining Backstage. Um, I'm still Which working on some. Yeah, yeah, no, it's incredible. I love it. But now that I have um, my studio at home here set up and I can actually produce, you know, semi-professional recordings, um, I have several projects that I'm going to be doing drums on, um, everything from folk music, all the way up right to heavy stuff, um, some solo stuff, and also writing myself. Um, the two bands that I'm playing in right now are still rehearsing enough to, to keep our chops up so that, you know, when the tide does turn on COVID and things, you know, start trending towards being able to play live shows, we'll be ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it will happen eventually when yeah. – it's it's gonna be it's gotta be safe. That's the thing. It so as long be, as everyone's yeah. safe. So yeah, I mean my, my biggest goals for twenty twenty one are going to be to be joining in on these amazing projects, recording and just continuing to grow um yeah. you know in, in the social media platform. No, I love those goals, Chris, and I think they're just so relevant to you and you set them with so much intention and and you're working towards them even now. Like you say, you've got the studio, you put the effort in to build that phenomenal. Look at that. It's a cathedral of sound, guys. I mean, it's absolutely incredible what Chris has done over there. And <laughs> guys, go check out some of Chris's content because it's absolutely fantastic. And the projects as well, we'll circle back at the end, give Chris definitely a, an opportunity to just share a little bit more about where, where to find out more and things like that. And Chris, it's just, it's just great to hear that, you know, you've got all these goals in your head, ready to go, ready, you know, come 21, you're just going to be, hitting milestone after milestone. Like you say, you've already been working away at them. And I just want to take a moment to say congratulations because this isn't the year where that should be happening. You know, this is the year where, you know, normally the world goes into hibernation and we, you know, we have this downwards, whether it's economy, downwards world at the minute, downward trend. And our mindsets are certainly affected within that. And, you know, what, is, what has been sort of the, for you, community, obviously, you know, within this space, within, you know, the industry with so much not happening, how important has community been for you in, in being a driving factor for you to be able to hit some of these goals that you've been talking about? Oh, it's been enormous um, because you're feeding off the energy of 
of your of of the other backstage yeah. members honestly i mean and it and that motivation just is just it thrives amongst the group and so you know i mean if if you're going to be um trying to make a list or set of goals and and yeah. you're going it alone i just i'm personally again going back to what i said at the beginning i'm Please. really just a player i'm not a an incredible influencer um some of the experts that we've had neil collins grammy winner um you know wes with his his brand and um and seeing like you know some what these people are are are, are capable and and yeah. of accomplishing it's it's amazing but i am really a type of a person that needs to have a structure put in front of me that i can that I, that and then i can incorporate it into my own and make it, make it make sense to me So I offer it. That's that's me too. And if I if I don't have structure, it for me it all falls apart personally as well. And I live I have to live and die by my calendar now, Chris, because that's the the motivating factor for me. That is the the only intention there. If I set it within the calendar, or if I set that goal, I have my notes, I draw it out, and I plan and and, and move from there. From it's a good positioning tool, isn't it? And you know that's oh, how I see it as well. So yeah, and and I think that's a really great takeaway from it there. Yes, get involved in backstage. Get it's a given, and speak to <laughs> Chris after the show about that. But also, you know, plan meaningful goals going into twenty one, thinking about you know what do you truly want to get out of music. For Chris, it's playing, you know, and you know, not too bothered about becoming a, a global influencer. Not you know, it, it, but. For me, you are. You're influencing right now in front of fifty-five, fifty-six thousand community members here. You know, we've got so many on the live, and it's just so great to see you all. And it's just a byproduct of what we're doing, isn't it? And it's just great to see that, even if that isn't the ultimate intention, it's still playing out. And I think that's really lovely, mate. And I think, you know, you've got so much going on behind the scenes as well. When the doors do open to the world, and you're back out on the show, you primed yourself in such a way that you are just. Ready to go? You're not missing opportunities. You're not forgetting to, you know. There's a plan there. There's a structure. You've got everything you need, mate. This has been great. Absolutely. I think for me as well, it's been really, really helpful in, in in sort of bringing bringing it back to the why. You know why we do what we do. We do because we play. We do because we love, and that's what it's all about. Loving the music, Chris, for sure. And just in terms of you know really summarizing and really starting to drive it into sort of the the remaining few minutes in, in today's live thanks again for doing this man i you know i can't thank you enough but oh, just what pleasure. would be you know for those artists who were sat on the fence you know in in the middle of you know a pandemic family's got, got a lot going on looking to their music as the gateway to freedom as the gateway for them to be able to just have that escape in their life it might be some of you guys watching now chris you have an opportunity to just tell them you know what what would you say to them what would you sort of provide an advice for them well i mean it's important that i mean you look at yourself in the mirror and yeah you know we want so we want to do the best that we can you know like when when you're putting the effort into doing something like i said earlier i'm 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 an all in type of guy yeah. it wasn't easy for me in this in the music forum after being away for so long to say okay it's worth doing this it's i need to invest in myself and that's what it comes down to it's really an investment in yourself it's an investment into something that you love um you know whether your investment is is your time or your money or whatever your your benefit that you that you're going to gain from you know taking taking a moment looking yourself in the eye and saying i'm worth it i can do this and i'm going to do it and yeah. and then you do it <laughs> i know that's, that's the, the best feeling in the world isn't it <laughs> yes absolutely and uh and i you know i'm a dive in head first type of guy i signed up annually you know cuz i wasn't going to i wasn't going to just you know dip my toe in the water and say okay you get to the process I did and that's cuz that's what I need. I'm the type of person that I'm like, okay, I am willing to invest in myself to do this and, you know, psh, take the plunge. And so happy I did. 
because you, Chris, are just reaping the rewards of that. And it's just, and I just want to say congratulations for being an action taker and just seizing that. And I, it's been so great from my my end of the of the deal, being able to help contribute and see you grow and see you hit these targets in real time, week on week. You know, and it's just brilliant. And it fills me with so much pride and so much pleasure knowing that you're out there in men doing what you do best, but doing what you love and continuing to fall in love with it and inspiring others in the process as well. Cause we see you each and every week showing up, you know, again, serving the community, you know, contributing to these lives and, you know, commenting and the follow trends and helping out others and lifting them up as well. And, you know, that, that to me is just everything and more that we can ask of great community members. So thank you for just being, you know, a real ambassador and a real advocate, not only for our brand, but just for the industry. Because for me, that that we need more people like you doing that, Chris. For sure. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure, Carlton. And, and you guys make it extremely easy. And all these awesome people that are in the chat right now, yeah. they make it really easy. And you it's guys just make such a it worth possible. Yeah, and it's, it's so worth it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. D2, we can go through it together. My sky drums, you the boss, all right? I tell you, we need to have you on at some point as well. Bobo's in the building. Um, Bobo, D two E, awesome stuff. Bobo's, we got Chris works hard and plays hard. Super inspiring stuff. We got about you influence me. I'm just finding my metal feed. Absolutely brilliant. I'm sure Chris will have a, a minute to spend some, uh, some time with you, Annabelle. And I know we talked about you know some advice oh, for Annabelle as well. Personally, on the on the last day call, which was brilliant last week. Uh, we've got Max saying, so true, Drummondizer community over competition. Definitely, it's about lifting people, isn't it, Chris? You know, it's about helping people out when. We're no going doubt. through a situation like we are at the moment. Chris, this has been fantastic, mate. Thank you so much. And just in terms of the community watching today who just have really bought into yourself, you know, really connected with you, wanting to learn more about you and, and the phenomenal projects you're involved in and, and going to be moving forward in 2021, where, where can we get in touch with you, Chris? Where do we learn more? So obviously Instagram is a great forum. Um, Facebook, Christopher yeah. Layton with this, you know, ugly mug, which Jesus, I, I broke my nose earlier today. Oh, oh no! Oh, well done. <laughs> no, oh, I'm, I just work hard and I'm clumsy. But in any case, but yeah, Chris Layton on Facebook. Um, my YouTube channel, which is kind of going through a restructuring, restructuring right now, is Chris makes stuff. I believe, I think that's what it is. <laughs> and um, please, please, please. Direct message me. Send me a, if you guys want to chat about anything. It could be backstage, could be about music, whatever. Yeah. I am always, always available to have a good conversation and um, and look forward to it. So please reach out. Truly, truly. And when Chris says that, he means it with with every intention. You know, he just he, if if he can do anything to help you guys. Same with us. If there's ever any opportunity, if you need anything on our end, please feel free to reach out. Also. And we can connect you up with Chris, you know. And what we've done, guys, is well, we've pinned Chris's um, handle there, IG username. So if you want to go give him a quick follow and that slide that DM, guys, you can do that right now after the show as well. But thank you, Chris. Let's do Chris. Strike a pause, my friend, for the for the thumbnail. We got it. Yeah, love that, my friend. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Honestly, man, it's just been brilliant. And let's do this next quarter. We'll have you back on. I was about that. We'll check in. We'll oh, see it where sounds great. And loving it, my friend. Well, thank you. Please take care because for those artists that don't know, Chris is in obviously Maine, like you mentioned at the start, those joining us now. It's awfully snowy out there, isn't it? There's a storm. Just, sort of going just, just a little bit. We got 20 inches of snow yesterday and one storm. But that's okay. Being a Maine guy that I am, I took some drums. I put them outside. I played outside for 45 minutes in the snowstorm you yesterday. you got to check it out. It is unbelievable. <laughs> He's got a video on his Instagram, guys. Do, go, go follow Chris. Go check out that video because, honestly, it, 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 it warming up with some beats. Toasty. Awesome, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Okay, you take care. Have a great Christmas. Thanks so you much. You too. Mate. Thanks for all the hard work backstage, my friend. I'll see you next week. You got it. Bye, everybody. Amazing stuff, guys. Thank you, Chris, for spending his Friday with me. I really appreciate it, my friend. You absolutely rock for what you're doing for yourself, your music, but also what you're doing for the community as well, my friend. It's just brilliant to see you being a real advocate. I really mean that with every intention, you know, every bone of me, my friend. It's great. Guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, if you want to learn more about Backstage, if you want to take action for yourself like Chris did, coming back into the space, coming back into the industry, ready to take action and serve others, 
Chris joined us straight away as an annual pass holder. He is living, breathing proof that, guys, you know, if he can succeed, you guys can too. You know, I want to see you guys join us. We've got so many of you guys joining us daily. It's great to see so many of you guys already, you know, part of the backstage experience here now with us. These guys are joining us because they get so much value out of being a part of that backstage environment. The weekly calls, the content, the sessions, the expert sessions, the, you know, the, the free resources, the countless resources that we are uploading on a regular basis. They're there for you guys to implement each and every single day of the week. And know that you can hold yourself accountable, but there is accountability and strength in numbers too. Having that community, having that ability to lean on and support others and have them support you is just a blessing, I think, especially at the minute that we all need. It's just been so great to see so many of you join. Thank you so much for just always contributing. It's really, really, really special, guys. Jay's in the building, really good, my friend. Hope you are well too. Great to see you joining us as an artist as well, team. Nothing better than becoming a part of Backstage. Yeah, Dynamic Rhythm, you know it, my friend. Monique, absolutely, yeah. Drumanizer, good to see you guys. Siobhan, thank you, everyone. Bobo, Jay, Jack, Zach. Uh, Scott, we got in the building. D2, thanks so much to every single one of you. Mark, guys, do one thing this weekend. Go follow Chris. Part two of that, go backstage. Sign up now. Collisiondrumsticks.com forward slash membership. Two days left. Two days, that is it. We're closing the doors and we won't be opening them for a while, guys. So if you want to take action, 2021 is your year. I know it. You know it. You need to do something different. We've got to act change. We've got to see what works. We can help each other grow and we're going to do that through backstage okay so join us collisiondrumsticks.com forward slash backstage click the link in our bio or drop our team a dm now hit that dm button on our page and we'll connect with you there and we'll get you in the right place to sign up as well guys you can go monthly you can go annually try it for a month see how it works see how it benefits you see what successes you can find in a month and tell me you know you're not going to stick around because i know you guys are we we built this for you and you guys deserve it all right Thank you so much, my friends. Stay safe. Thank you, as always, for all the support. Have a very safe, happy holidays. Have a great season, guys. I'm looking forward to 21. More videos like these coming soon. Take care, guys. Rock on. Thanks so much. Stay safe.